and welcome back to Commodore Pet Series Part 6. Will it or won't it work? And welcome to the Commodore Pet Part 6. Now this arrived in a mail bag recently and uh, this is the end that we are going to remove and as you can see they are matching at each end the idea being is to get right around They can mate with each other. Screw that into the equipment, screw the next one in on top. Right. Not sure what the construction is going to be like on the inside, so take it apart and have a look. Should separate the two halves. And the inside looks like it's an insulation displacement. And this is the only connector I've got at the moment that will fit the pet. And hopefully. It's got the right number of pins. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep. Twenty-four connections. So basically it's cut these wires off, put them on here. So that's today's job. But first of all, better check that they are actually one to one. There's that one there. Go. See that one? Yep. See. One to one. So that means I should be able to happily chomp my way through them. thing is do I do one side first to make life a bit easier do I cut this back a bit give me a bit more room Very useful having original books 
is here we have the IEEE 488 port. Down here we have the pin numbering. And over here we have the uh, Commodore pin number to the IEEE number, which makes life a lot easier. So hopefully, put that to the side. So looking at this, that's going to be pin one. I'm not going to bother with putting uh, anything around the wires for the time being. As this is just a quick, will it work? safe side we'll do a few checks in one Powered it up and it let the magic smoke out. I should really have checked beforehand what was like on the inside. As you can see. The magic smoke is departing rapidly. Vast quantities of it.
<laughs> still coming out. Well, it looks like it was coming out that box. And it didn't smell very pretty. So I can remember where things go. That came off there. on the front, that come off there, Ooh. it really does smell in here now, I'll put them in the right way. It's a bit iffy. You know, it's it's a nut on the screw. And I'm having to push the screw up on the bottom as I turn it. Doesn't look very original. Oh, it really does pen and ink in here. do if it's killed the board because where would you get one of these under here because that's where I think the smoke was coming from. she go
Aha. annoying me that I can't find my scalpel. A, so I want it. And B, I don't want to find it. <laughs> With a part of my anatomy. Point in first. This is going to be the culprit, as it's also crazily warm. There you go. There's the culprit. One of those horrible yellowy plastic capacitors that crack. And if you watch uh, Mr. Carlson videos, Mr. Carlson's lab, then he'll give you lots of examples as to uh, why you should get rid of these. As I say, that is the first time I've had. Sorry about the noise, I've got the extractor thing going because it stinks. It's the first time I've had one of these go. The problem there is, I'll have to order one of them. Oh well, it'll give me time to clean the board, I suppose. And luckily, the power went before any damage was done to the uh, main board. So, this is about as far as this is about as far as pet rescue <laughs> part six is going to go. I think part seven will be cleaning this up in case there's something else wrong with it. A bit strange that it had a bolt holding it on. And uh, if you like what you see, shame you can't smell it because it stinks and it's awful. But if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit, hit that button for the notifications. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on Commodore Pet Rescue Part 7 or some other video before that. Bye.